Okay, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to talk about creative, innovative, insightful prayers. A lot of times we pray, Lord, save my family. Lord, heal aunt so-and-so. Lord, bless grandma. Lord, bless my finances. Lord, bless the people at my church to get saved. I mean, at my job to get saved. Some of y'all might be praying for people at your church to get saved. Lord, bless this one, bless that one. Okay. Some of you need to pray prayers like, uh, Lord, give divine, supernatural protection. Intervene where abused children are concerned. Pull them out of that mess in any way, shape, or form. By any means necessary, pull them out. In the name of Jesus, release. Make an open door for the prostitute that wants to get away from her pimp and can't, or her pimping organization who abuse and beat and kill. Help her get out of it. Help her get out of it, get you into her. Lord, in the name of Jesus, help the kids who are being sold as sex slaves. Find ways for them to get free. Give them ideas they never thought of before. And then make them act on it so they can get free from that nonsense. And find a safe haven to live in where you are in control. You can pray so many creative prayers. Let your imagination flow with you. Because you have no idea the ways that God can move. And if you can come up with ideas with your pea brain and my pea brain, imagine what God can come up with. And the more we pray towards that, the more power it gives to those prayers being answered. There are kids who are caged up in basements, may not even know their own name, may have been called stupid, butthole, all kind of cuss words, all their lives. Some of them have been called bees and, and the other bees. I mean, just treat it as, as, uh, as inhumanely as possible, other than just being killed, period. Some of them are slowly being starved as punishment. Pray for those. They need a voice. Pray for the women that are being beaten. They need a voice. Pray for intervention. Pray for them to get witty ideas as to how to get out of it safely, unscathed, and permanently. Pray that God would Block some of the teenagers that go out because they're drunk, they're getting drunk, they're getting high, they're sniffing, snorting, smoking. Pray that God would give them supernatural protection. He could scare the daylights out of them, scare them straight. But let them come out unscathed so their future is still intact. So many ways you can pray for people other than your mama, your papa, your brother, your sister, your kids, me and my four, no more. Pray for people. Now, I'm not just talking to you. I'm talking to me too. We all fall short in prayer. I definitely do. So I'm not talking to you like I'm going to straighten you out. I need straightening out in the prayer category. But pray those creative prayers. Lord, if there is a bomb, set to explode in this place, that place, or the other place, in this country, or even in any other country for that matter, where you know there are people that should not be, you know, dying that kind of a death. Would your mercy rise up to the occasion and totally void that bomb? Dismantle it, defuse it, let it explode on the people that are taking it there whatever, but don't let it make its destination to good-hearted people that you want to be merciful to. Warn if there is a danger. Warn people. I mean, there's so many kinds of prayers we can pray. 
Lord pray that the government will pay senior citizens a much higher uh, social security rate than what they do. If they can raise the minimum wage by 20% or 15%, let them raise social security in the same way. Seniors shouldn't have to live at, at abject poverty. I mean, uh, the veterans. Pray for the veterans that somebody in the government, the powers that be, would start making laws that would benefit them the way they really need it and not treat them like, like uh, used up uh I don't know if it's called refuse or used up, just used up trash. Because they're not trash. I'm not even going to get into that. So just pray. Ask God to give you uh, the kind of prayers that really will make a difference. That God would raise up leaders, raise up prophets, raise up uh, movement, um, uh, world movers and earth shakers. I mean, just raise up people that will really make a change, raise up voices that will speak the truth and nothing but the truth. God bless you as you raise your sights in prayer, as you, as you increase in your prayer life, and God bless me with the same help, because we all need that help. Love you. God bless you in every way, shape, and form, and everything you're deepest soul needs inner healing wholeness inner strength wisdom favor prosperity good health god bless you